Hey, check this out. Two blades. Three blades. Oh, no, still just two blades. Hold on, let me try that again. There we go, three blades. Would you look at that? A three-bladed prop on the beaver. Why, you ask? Well, let me tell you. Traditionally, all things being equal, a two-bladed propeller will give you a slightly better cruise performance while a three-bladed propeller gives you a slightly better climb performance. Now, I was perfectly happy with both my cruise performance and my climb performance, so why did I add a third blade? The other thing that three-bladed props are known for is a reduction in vibration. They run a bit more smoothly. Smoothlier, smoother, smoothlier, smoothlier, pretty sure it's smoothlier. So, I did notice that sitting in the back seat of the beaver, uh, where I'm that close to the engine and the source of vibration, I, I got jiggled around. I, I mean, jiggled around. I, I could feel the vibration and, and it was irritating. And so I thought, well, let's put a third blade on and that will smoothen out, smoothen out, smoothen out the vibration. So, and it certainly did. It is much more smoother. Now, like I said a minute ago, all things being equal, that's the case. With a two-bladed prop, I had the propeller pitch so that the engine would turn about 6,500 RPM on takeoff. Because I know that a three-bladed prop gives me a little bit better takeoff performance anyway, I added a little bit of extra pitch to these blades, so now my maximum RPM on takeoff is 6,300. So that extra 200 RPM translates into slightly less climb performance, but I'm getting that back by having the third blade, and it translates into a little bit better cruise performance, which I lost by adding the third blade. So I'm pretty much exactly where I was before in terms of climb performance and cruise performance. And I might be just a little bit faster on the cruise side of things, but I have hardly any vibration now. So I'm very happy with the way it turned out. Let me show you. Let's go flying and uh, you can see for yourself. Would you believe this is the third time I've tried to make this video? First time was too dark. Second time, truck camera didn't record. Third time's a charm. Fingers crossed. What's up, traffic? Let's let India Whiskey off. Uh, taxiing into position, runway 31 for departure. Which dock? So, uh, we talked about climb performance. Typically, I can get to 1,000 feet uh, ASL, uh, which is 500 feet AGL, uh, before I get to the end of the runway. So, we're going to test that out first. I'm going to take off and deviate to the left. Uh, actually, I'll go to the right a little bit. That way, we can see uh, if I hit 1,000 feet before I get to the end. Uh, the end of the grass, not the end of the pavement. It's very rare I get to the uh, 500 feet off the ground by the end of the pavement, but as long as I'm up there before the end of the grass, I know that my climb performance is going to be unaffected, and I'm going to look for a cruise performance on downwind. So uh, on top of that, we'll be watching for vibration. So let's go ahead and take off and see what we see. What's up, traffic? Let's let India Whiskey Alpha, departing runway 31, remaining in the pattern Woodstock. I'll deviate over to the right here a little bit. There's uh, 6,400 RPM on climb out. And there's 1,000 feet, and that is about halfway down the grass section of the, the runway. So that's uh, 2,500 feet to uh, 500 feet off the ground, so that's not bad. The climb performance unaffected, in my opinion. I've done better, but that was in the winter. 
into winter, we climb a little faster. Let's go downwind at cruising RPM. There's 58, which is what I normally Good cruise at. India Fox truck member Whiskey is an ultralight. Taxiing for departure on runway 31 with stop. Oh, let me bring that back a little bit. There we go, 5800 RPM. And we appear to be level. And we are sitting at 62 miles an hour. So, cruise speed. Virtually unaffected. Uh, slight increase, but um, I'm not going to count two miles an hour as a, a, ooh, I'm going faster by two miles an hour. I'm going to call it unaffected, is what I'm going to call that. With dog traffic, Fox on the river whiskey, departing on way 3-1. And, uh, let's do a touch and go. With our traffic turning base for runway 3-1, touch and go with Chuck. I want you to see the uh, vibration here. I'm at idle, and at idle is usually when I have the most amount of vibration while I fly. And uh, just look at the different camera angles, and just look at the, the lack of vibration. I'll, I'll try to cut in, intersperse some footage from, from previous flights to, uh, to kind of give you a compare and contrast. I'm going to do a slip. And to go. And now this time on the downwind, I'm going to cut in different footage uh, from previous flights from the same camera angle to show you. It's a busy night at the airport. To, to show you the difference in the vibration. from the strut from a previous flight. So there you go. And let me cut back to this flight. And so now let's go to the dash. Here's a shot from a previous flight from the dashboard. Now to be fair, this previous flight, uh, I didn't have the dash mount secured properly. So dog traffic. Like I said, it's a busy day at the airport. Um, so, yeah, it wasn't secured properly, so the compare and contrast from the dash cam isn't going to be uh, completely scientific, but from the strut, here's, here's a previous shot from the strut. And here we are back with the new three blades. You can see it's smoother. It doesn't have quite the same amount of vibration. Uh, so, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. Less vibration. I mean, slightly higher cruise, whatever, and climb performance unaffected, uh, I'm very happy with it. So anyway, that's the difference between a three-blade and a two-blade prop. I'm going to uh, land now, pick up a student, and go flying. So uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I'll include this landing here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. What's up, driving India Whiskey Alpha, final for 3-1, full stop, Woodstock. Traffic, Indy, Whiskey, Alpha, clear the runway, Woodstock. Clear the runway, Woodstock. 